catch a Freeman TV. Let's finish this movie review. Hold on, I'm a little too big. Let's strength me down just a, just a tad. Just like right there so y'all can see the movie. How y'all doing? Ah, ah, let's finish this movie review, man. I've kind of been doing other things. Bring my mouse over here. I don't got no water, but that's okay. We're going to rock it out another 48 minutes. I think this is where we left off where um, she is basically... You know, let's put me over here. She's basically, um, yeah, we'll put me right here. You know, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm nobody important. Um, she's getting her divorce decree, I believe, or divorce paperwork and finalizing. This is her, her lawyer. And we're going to pick it up from here. <laughs> cooking this is full screen okay all right so listen if they spent if he spent the night i hope he cracked them cookies oh no they didn't they didn't do anything they, they i remember the last movie review they cuddled up that was the dress she wore they cuddled up and then she and he wakes up and he's making breakfast i thought i was nice he nicer than me i ain't doing that if i got them cookies maybe but i ain't doing that Hey. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. How are you? Good. That's good. Next date, well, you need to crack. Have a seat. I'll be right with you. Well, he made some eggs and some so good. Oh, yes. My favorite part of the day. The breakfast. <laughs> How long have you been up? Um, not long. Just long enough. To make you a big country breakfast. Yikes. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't eat all of this. You, you can't? No, I'm a little person. Got well, like two, two people okay. on here. Um, That's all right. Uh, just eat what you can, okay? Mm. And we have some freshly squeezed orange juice mm -hmm. out of a jug. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. Freshly squeezed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he he need to he need to be freshly squeezing that ass. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, it's been he's cooking for you. See, and this is a shame because my pill brothers be like, oh, this dude is a simp, and there might be some truth to that. But this is there's nothing wrong with like I've cooked for a woman before. I mean, she was my girlfriend, or she was somebody I might have been smashing at least. But pre cookie, nah, I ain't doing all that. I need to make sure that you ain't trying to take advantage of me. But that's and that's okay. I'm not knocking those that do it. But like, come on, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, women. If you meet a dude like this, no kids, maybe he's not super attractive, you know. But you know, he's in decent enough shape. He's the average body build of most black men. Cooking for you, good job, his own spot, no kids. Nice gentleman. This the dude that you should be giving the cookie to, like on the third, fourth date. But it's like for some reason y'all will play the long y'all will kind of ring him along, make him jump through hoops. And I'ma be honest with you, after a while, if he has a little bit of a backbone and a little bit of self-respect, or another girl sees that type of you know, that's like that type of effort, you you lost a good man. That is a that you might that's like a one so. How does it taste? One percent chance of black men really all of is these it? things. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like mm. it. Huh? What do you think? Oh, I'm, I'm not a big eater, actually. What? <laughs> I mean, he needs. No. I'm just, just saying, he kind of chubby. I mean, he he not chubby, chubby, but he he he's overweight. He need, he lose a couple pounds. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm playing. Take some of this. No, no, no. Seriously, actually, I have to. You gonna feed it to me? Check on something. Um, so I'm gonna be gone for about 20 minutes. So. No, no, make yourself at home. Uh oh, there's something. Maybe things aren't always what they seem. Is is but it's coming real soon. Maybe there's something he's he's about to be. On. Okay, Freeman, stop. Play the movie. Feel comfortable, and I'll be back. Okay. And when I come back, I'm gonna take you somewhere. Okay, somewhere special. Is that all right? Okay. Well, I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> They kiss me. Bye. Wow. Okay, that's good. 
financing. Tracy speaking. Hi, Trace. Beverly, girl, where are you? Girl, I am at the museum. You couldn't call nobody? I thought I was gonna have to send the dogs out after you. <laughs> I'm fine. I spent the night with Alex. Mm, girl, was it good? <laughs> no, we didn't even go there, nosy. Not that I ain't want to. Oh, okay. Nobody home. Oh, that's sweet. I know. He's nice. Oh, girl, you know I'm happy for you, right? It, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, man. I just don't think most black women are turned on by sweet and nice. I'm just sorry. Like, because if, you know. Yeah, I knew you would be. So what kind of work does he do? Mm, construction. Mm, that means a brother is good with his hands. Oh, Jesus, stop. <laughs> you are so silly. But I hope mm -hmm. so. <laughs> no, for real, it's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm, it's cool. I know. Hey, look, Beth, um, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, what? Are you sure about all of this? What do you mean? Are you sure that, you know, you're ready to get involved so soon after all you've been through? Yeah, I thought about it, but you know, I'm really happy. Okay. Well, all right, look, girl, as long as you're happy, you know I'm happy for you. You know I got you. I know, girl. You know what? Out of curiosity, if any women are watching this, I don't think I have a lot of women subscribers. Like, how much time do you think you need before you like um, say you break up with a dude like how many months or weeks do you need before you'll go out on another date or even you know what now let's just get to it how many how much time do you need before you have sex with another man and for fellas same question like how how many like you break up with your girl, whether you did something or she did something, how much time do you think you need? See, I know for fellas, we we good. We like we good after like a couple of days, honestly. But like, how much time do you need before you jump in the saddle with somebody else? Girl, thank you. Oh, girl, anytime. You know that. You know you're my girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I knew there was something funny about you. <laughs> you better get somewhere with that. <laughs> Anyway, hey, so you plan on seeing him again anytime soon? Actually, I'm thinking about cooking for him tonight. Cook for him? Girl, yeah. I thought you said you liked this man. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave me alone. I can All cook. All right, then look, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. She was a housewife. She better She better been cooking. What the fuck? All, All right, right, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Peace. <laughs> oh, Lord, help this man. She cooking for him. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, Kenneth, we've gotten together, talked it over, and decided we're going to keep you with the firm, but it does come with some stipulations. Yes, Kenneth. What you do in your personal time is your business, but around here, you are to maintain a professional atmosphere at all times. Yes, sir. Kenneth, to be honest with you, we're not letting you go because you're one of the best. We don't want to lose you to a rival firm, but don't misunderstand us. If we have to, we're gonna let you go if this happens again. From this point forward, there will be no fraternizing. Yes, ma'am, understand. Welcome back, Kenneth. Thank you, sir. All right, Kenneth. Kenneth kept his job. We couldn't keep Scott. We had to make an example out of him. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I won't let you down. Thank you. Ken, welcome back. Well done. Uh oh. Beverly, what what are you doing here? Find out. Find out what? You're so good. Hmm? What? I'll admit, you got game though. Well, hold on. You no, no, no. That's not what you I think it is. I don't even want to know that... what that is. You know what? I didn't want to hear. 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. Beverly. Beverly, where are you going? Get off of me, Alex. Listen, just let me explain. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Come Stay on. Stay away from me, Alex. Beverly. Stay away from me. Beverly. I mean, well, they're not, are they in a relationship? Well, they're not in a relationship because he would have smashed if they were. That's number one. Like, real talk, I mean, cynically, I listen, words mean things in my book. Single means you can do what you want, technically, all right? Now, me, I would, anybody that watches my channel, or if you're, if you're, if you're a young man that watches my channel, I think that you should just mess with one girl at one time. You know what I'm saying? Because it can get messy like that. Now, but technically speaking, you could do whatever you want, and so can she. So if you're messing with five girls that all come to your house Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, nothing that she can't do. You don't got a girlfriend. You're single, right? And if Michael B. Jordan approaches her, you can't get mad. And he takes her on a helicopter ride and takes her and flies her out to California. There's nothing you could do. She's single, right? But when you're exclusively laying down with somebody, I do believe there should be some type of like just chill and it just gets a little messy. Now, if you're entertaining other people like texting, calling, fine, maybe going on dates, whatever, cool. But, you know, I think that one one body at a time, you know what I mean? I'm like a hitman, one body at a time. However, um, she didn't even let him explain like, yo, that's my sister, my cousin. Like, you can come in and talk to her and if you see if I'm lying, like. You didn't even give him a shot. Like, so now the good guy has to go through the ringer just to what? Prove that he's a good guy again? Stop it. She done got her ass whooped. Uh, them, them, them earrings is crazy. I, I didn't know what that was. What the hell are you doing here? Man, I've been calling you. You didn't return any of my calls. <laughs> Come on, Scott, man. I, I told you I don't want this anymore. Man, you should have thought about that before you got involved. Look, I made a mistake, okay? I can't do this. Leave. Just, just leave. You don't understand, do you? Understand what? Kenneth. I love you. Come on, Scott. Get the hell out of here with that nonsense, man. God, I told you. Look at his face, though. I'm, I cannot. I'm done. He said, Kenneth. I love you. It's like a gay keep sweat. All right, stop. Come on. Yes. Since one last time, leave my house. Not the answer to you. What? What are you going to do? What? What? Wait, 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 Scott, let's, let's just, just, let's talk about no, you. be quiet. It doesn't have to happen like this. I was there when no one else was there. Okay, Scott, okay. listen, okay. Scott, I helped you get to where you were. You wouldn't have that position in the firm if it wasn't for me. No, listen, no, listen, listen to me. What do I have to show for all this? I ain't got a job. I ain't got shit. I ain't got nothing. Oh. Listen, 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 let's talk about this. Talk about what, Ken? Talk about you abandoning me? God, I didn't leave you, man. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I was just curious. Really, Kenneth? Curious? I'm almost gonna... You just don't understand, do you? Let me guess. He's gonna shoot him, and then he's gonna be in the hospital, and then Beverly's gonna come to the hospital. Heard about him getting shot, and then they're gonna try to work things out. A good guy's trying to prove himself, and then she's gonna be confused, and then hopefully she'll have uh, picked the good guy. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, 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 I
I'm sorry, man. I'm oh, sorry. Come on, no. Oh. Just wait a minute, man. I love you, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me, Ben. I am not kidding you. You know what? I really thought this guy was a good guy. That's unbelievable. Mm. So did I. Oh, Trace, look, no, you got no. your okay, it's okay. Let me just it's go okay. Side. Brian will understand. Have a girls' night. How about that? God, what the yo? See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I understand when you women go through these, these stuff. Y'all have a sisterhood, but this is what I'm talking about. It's probably not her date, but y'all will like, y'all will drop y'all shit with a guy that you are trying to get to know. Like, y'all really, y'all really keep each other single. Like us, us homies, ain't too many men keeping each other single. But y'all women will railroad your shit for like what? Cause your friend needs help. Let her fucking go walk off somewhere, or whatever, or go in her room. You do your business, and then y'all talk about this shit and have girls' night and wine night and scandal night another day. Like what the fuck? So now he gets canceled on. Damn man, do you, listen. You want to be a good friend or you want to be a good wife? Cause you can't be both. Hey, hey babe. how are Shit. you? These are for oh, you. Well, these are nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Brian, something happened with Beverly again, and she's inside. What? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Look, oh. you have to be a little patient, okay? Stacey, look, I've been patient. I need my time. I know. I know, Brian. Look, this will be the last time. But this is the thing, right? It and I'm gonna let it play, but then y'all, you do listen. You do understand that men will be like, we're aggressive creatures. So if you're not doing something, he's gonna go find it. So if he got another girl that's gonna that he rides off into the sunset with, or that he approaches, or that he got in his phone number, you can't be mad. Now, if they're in a relationship, that's different. But like, so I'm supposed to be loyal to this and get canceled on, um you know, constantly put a second place. Why would I be loyal to somebody? I'm not in a relationship. Getting canceled on. Um and 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 and, and I'm second, third, fourth place. Cause honestly I'm fourth place, right? And then if you got a kid, I'm fifth place. Yourself, your friend, your time, your job, and then there's me. Come on, son. I'm I promise. I need my time. Oh. Come on. I know, Brian. He he, hey. He thirsty. How about a sneak peek? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. You sure it's not somewhere she can go? <laughs> I promise this will be the last time, okay? I just want to eat, eat you <laughs> up, girl. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. You better. Okay. You better. All right. See you, baby. Thank you. 
hallelujah. And I want to say this to God amongst his people, that it is awesome to be here in this place, in this church, and amongst God's people. You know, I want you to get this. God is an on-time God. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. And just like we sing that great anthem in the morning, he may not come when you're calling, but he'll be there right on time. And the reason we say that, my brothers and sisters, is because when we pray to God, we know he hears our prayer. And so we got to realize that when we pray to God, he gives us answers like yes, yes. no, no, and not now. Not now. And my brothers and sisters, I want to make a great point on this biblical principle. When you pray, you want to make sure that you're given a request that's within God's will. Yes. Because at the end, God knows what's best for us. Yes. But due to the fact that he is not a man that he should lie, mm -hmm. neither the son of man that he should repent, right. God will give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Ain't that a good thing? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So that's why I'm telling you this, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. that when you pray, make sure you pray within God's will. Yes. Because at the end, God gets the glory. Yes. And due to that fact, we got to realize that you got to be careful what you pray for. Right. Because you need God to give you the desire of your heart, and you may get what you want, mm -hmm. but in the end, it could be disastrous. I just don't understand, like, why do you think, okay, she's a crackhead, she's fiending. I just don't understand, like, how, like, it, it's interesting, like, how, like, if a woman messes up with us, we'll listen for an explanation. But it's like, sometimes with women, y'all won't give a dude, like, an ex, like, you won't let him explain himself, like, you, you know what I'm saying? This got deeper than I thought it was going to get. I'm not going to lie, Maverick. This is pretty good. You show, let's get Alex has showed up at the job now. Alex, Alex about to pop up at the job. Alex about to pop up at the job, y'all. Don't do that. Well, shower, right? Yeah. I'm a bit tired too, but it was pretty good today. Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, did you look something? Yeah, I did. Did you need a ride or anything? No, I'm good. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Beverly, can I talk to you, please? What do you want, Alex? Will you just listen to me? I don't want to hear anything you have to say. <sighs> Beverly, you got this all wrong. Do I? That, that, that was my sister the other night that you saw. That's all you saw. Alex, do I look like a damn fool to you? I was there. <sighs> I saw you. No, I saw it. No, you didn't. What you saw was me trying to patch my sister up because she had been beaten. Her name is Wendy, and she was beaten because she strung out on drugs. And as, as much as I would like to turn my back on her, I can't. But Bev, you gotta know that I would never do anything to hurt you, never. <sighs> Beverly, I love you. Oh. 
Now, I know that we still have a lot to learn about each other, but there's one thing I do know is how I feel. How I feel is that I love you, and I am not about to let you go, Miss Harrison. I feel stupid. I, Alex, look, I, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I mean, I should have told you then, but I, I felt like I needed to get back to Wendy, and, and I'm sorry for that. That will never happen again. No, it's okay. No, just give me. Listen. Just explain. All that matters is you, us. Beverly, I'm not letting you go. I'm not. Her, you ain't even get the cookie yet. That's a husband. When someone hurts you, you got to make two choices. Either you can choose to forgive them or you can hold on to it. And let me tell you this forgiveness hurts you more than it hurts the other person. Is it easy to forgive others? Heck, I mean, heck no. <laughs> Out, that was out of line. Like, if you got a new boyfriend, don't let your ex-boyfriend kiss you on the cheek, ex-husband and all that shit. Uh, personal space, bruh. Let me find out you let you did some shit like that. I'd be like, don't let them. Okay, cool. A little church hug, cool. But like him kissing you on the cheek, don't let him put his nasty lips on you. He was cheating with a man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I ain't gonna lie, Beverly. I wasn't feeling that. I was afraid that you actually would look on the show. Honestly, I was on the fence about it. Sorry to hear about Scott. Care for something to drink? No, no, I'm good. Thank you. Just wanted to apologize. Maybe I know I'll put you through a whole lot. I'm so sorry. And I never meant to hurt you. I may have just been a little confused about who I am. Maybe even what I am. But I was never confused about how much I loved you. You know. I just wish that we could have worked through this. You wouldn't have been happy. for real ain't no man doing that straight or gay he ain't doing that if you ain't get spousal support or alimony when that divorce deal happened it ain't happening he uh, pfft, come on but he's doing this for a rite of passage yeah all right and she damn sure wouldn't have turned it down either she's still gonna take it watch this is your share Ask the company to transfer me out of town. Right, without you, I have nothing now. But 
but we're playing the catch. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Also wanted to say, technically speaking, this is out of line. This is more out of line than what Alex did. Alex was tending to his sister, and she popped up at his crib. She snuck snuck off to see her ex husband and meet up and look at the kiss that he's giving and endearing on to her. Imagine if Alex had seen this moment. Would he have had a right to snap? She didn't even tell him about this. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's very one sided when it comes to accountability sometimes and I don't like that shit. See, nah, that's see that's that's doing too much. You got a you got a whole new I don't like that, Maverick. You got a whole new man and you let your ex husband kiss on your cheek sensually like no, no. I'd have been mad if I was Ken. See that's some, I mean I would have been mad if I was Alex. See that's what I'm talking about. That nice guy shit goes out the window. I'd be a fucking I would be a wolf on your ass. Like, are you don't you ever let no man kiss you like that? Only man that should kiss you like that is me and your father and your brothers. Cousins, shit like that. Anybody else? No. Especially ex husband. Come on, man. <laughs> the treatment how's that going well i don't have the shakes anymore <laughs> wow that's good yeah. she, she <laughs> really, that's good she, she taking them 12 steps they got me what you <laughs> in the kitchen <laughs> no. No. whatever <laughs> Look, I can make a mean toast, Alex. You remember the last time you made the mean toast? <laughs> you almost burnt mama house down. Whatever. <laughs> but seriously, Alex, thank you for doing this. For doing what? For helping me. Everybody else turned their back on me, but you didn't. Mm. Even, a good guy, man. even after I stole your stuff. Yeah, that was wild. You know what? You know how you can thank me? You can thank me by just getting better, okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, sis. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Beverly. That's not me. The audio's going in and out. Bev, pick up. Pick up, Bev. Girl, you will never in a million years guess who's on National Construction Magazine. As soon as you get this message, give me a call. Alex? Hello? Hey. Hey, Beth. How are you? Hey, I was just thinking about you. Good. Listen, I know we were supposed to meet later, but there's been a slight change of plans. Oh, really? What's wrong? No, no, no. Nothing's wrong. I, I just want to meet you somewhere else. Okay. Where? Okay. I need you to meet me at the Civic Center. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Uh, is something going on there tonight? Yeah, something like that. Fine, what time? Eight o'clock. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's good. Great, great. I, I, this meet me shit, bruh. She ain't got no car, bruh. 
I don't get that. Why is he not saying like, "Oh, I'll pick you up at this time. Just be ready." Like, ladies, I maybe I'm just, I it's that's a little weird for him to be a nice gentleman guy that he's not coming to get her and stuff. Like, if a girl mess with me and you ain't got no car, I will come and scoop you, ma. You know what I'm saying? Should I dress? Yes. Yes. You dress. <laughs> Fine. What's the occasion? Well, I'll tell you when you get there. Well, Alex, tell me. Babe, when you get there. Okay, I'll tell you. Fine. I'll talk okay. to you later. Alright, bye. Bye. Son, that'll be three fifty for the magazine now. Three fifty for the magazine. Hey, hey, chill. That'll be three fifty for the magazine, man. Sorry. Thank you. You have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. excited. Good. Beverly? Hey, Bob, where you at? Yeah, I'm in here. Hey, girl. I got news for you. <laughs> what? Uh, you little construction worker with the good hands? Yeah. It appears he's worth quite a bit of money. You mean this? <laughs> yes, girl. Girl, you lucked out with this one. Uh -oh. yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I just thought he was a regular guy. Well, your regular guy is pretty well off. Well, it's not about that for me. I know that. I just I understand why he felt like he couldn't tell me who he was. <laughs> Well, why do you think? That's what I would do. If, yo, when I become a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, I ain't let no chick know that I'm, I got it like that. You, duh, I would keep it dug down just like that. Because that's the only way a guy knows that you like him for him. That's why. I'm sure whatever the reason is, Bev, I'm sure it's a good one. So how'd everything go with Kenneth? Uh, that... To be honest with you, I don't know if she would have passed the test with me because she didn't want to go on a second date with him or a second or even want to go on the first official date with him if it was going to be in that hoopty. So I don't know. I don't know if if, if technically she passed. The, like, I mean, all right, there's a difference between. All right, the hoopty was fucked up because it wasn't starting. It was barely starting and shit. But let's just say it was, it was a functional hoopty and she was like, I'm not getting in that ugly thing or I ain't getting in that kind of car. Or she wouldn't have made it with me. Yeah. What's this? Open it. Yeah. Everybody gets it's a it. cashier's check. <laughs> he sold the house and moved out of the city. <laughs> Girl, yeah. you are straight. Yeah. Not only do you have a man with cash, but you also have cash. Girl, you are rich. <laughs> Girl, you are rich. I am not rich. <laughs> I am far from rich. Mm. I don't even want it. Girl, please. Alex, girl, <laughs> Alex, I am. Uh... You need to break off best friend a couple month, monthly payments. You've been there for about two months. Give her, some, you know what I mean, one half on the rent, something. You just saying. I liked him because he was real. And it wasn't about how much money he had or didn't have. Mm -hmm. We just had a good time together. I know. I know, Beth. Mm -hmm. 
still That's yeah. life, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, Beth. It may not be my place to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You seem like you have it real good right now. You have a man out there who's working hard for everything that he has, who seems to genuinely care about you, who just so happens to have money. I don't see what the problem is. Problem? He lied to me. Did he? Or are you lying to yourself, Beth? Right. You know what? I gotta go back to work, because that's pro folk. We gotta work in order to eat. I'll talk to you later. You know, without this guy right here, you all would not be honoring me. So, Jason, I wanna personally thank you. Thank you for all of this. <clears throat> it's been my pleasure working with Alex. I've worked with Alex for a number of years, and it's, it hasn't always been easy. There were things and trials and tribulations that we had to go through that made it very tough and difficult. We didn't Excuse always me. think it. Yo, Beverly, are you serious? Are you serious right now? That shit don't even make no sense. So, now he's now he lied to you because he hid his wealth, but you didn't like him when he was in the broke hoopty. I ain't gonna lie, Maverick. This is kind of a, a mind a mind bomb a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. We didn't always think that this thing would turn out so well, but in the midst of it, no pain, no gain. Beth. Beverly, where are you going? Alex, I can't do this. <laughs> Beverly, what are you afraid of? I mean, what's the problem? The problem, Alex, is you. Me. You're the problem. Why me? Bev, let me explain, all right? No, Alex, See? I don't want to hear it. You lied to me. What? what? I don't... You lied to me. You knew I had trust issues when I left my husband, and still you hid this from me. I mean, what else are you hiding? Bev, I've never hid anything from you. You were right there when I got a call from my company. Yeah, but you never said it was your company. Yes, I did. Fine, you never said it was your company. Do you know what I mean? Wait a minute. What? Are you? You're mad with me because I didn't tell you that I own a company. Well, Alex, it was a big deal. Oh, my. I, I mean, I didn't even know who you were. And now I just feel stupid. Like he was playing me the Beverly. whole time. I was with you during the worst days of your life, and I saw you pull yourself out of it. Come on, I didn't play you. I was proud of you. I mean, you reminded me of me when I had nothing or nobody. Come on, no, now. I don't, you know what? I don't no, 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 no. You're going to listen. Oh. You know what? You know why you? Do you know why? Uh-oh. <laughs> he said, no, you're going to listen. Go ahead, Alex. Finally, you got some backbone. Why you? I'll tell you why, Bev. I liked you for the simple fact that you didn't know who I was, Bev. Come on, you treated me like a human being. Like I was your friend. You know, since I got a little money now, women treat me like I'm just this big game animal that they gotta come and hunt down. They don't see me. They don't see me, Bev. All they see is a big paycheck, a big wedding, a big house, and a big alimony. They don't see, they see everything except for the big picture. And that's, you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have love, then that's the loneliest place to be. You know, do you even know how many times a day that I get lied to? And you think I'm gonna come here and lie to you? Please, come on. <laughs> you know what's, you know what's funny? Is that you women, you say you want a good man. And the truth is, there are good men all around you. Oh. But you got to learn to see them, especially when they're standing right in front of you, Beth. And, and let me tell you something. They don't always come the way you expect either. My boy went from blue pill to red pill real quick, didn't he? Oh, she like, all right. She like, all right now. Uh-oh. Hey.
Hey, now, hey, Maverick. Hey, I fuck with this. I like that. Now it's time. You now it's time for you to make it up to him. Let's see if you. Let's see if you gonna call him and have him ignore you for a couple of days. So you know what's crazy. You know what's crazy. I don't think. I don't think women will do it. I've never heard a woman be in the doghouse and crawl across broken glass to get that man back. We always hear about he was in the doghouse. He got to make it up to me. I know what I deserve and my worth. Now you, now you didn't, now he didn't told you like, yo, I didn't lie or didn't keep anything from you. I was just modest. So now you're in the doghouse. And I'm going to be honest with you, brothers. That right there, you see what he's showing right there? That is the most powerful thing you can do to a woman is show your back. It's almost as strong as your mouthpiece. But when you show your back, that's that's like two, two times the fold, baby. Go ahead, Alex. You just became my favorite character in this whole shit. get the cookie now. Hold on. So 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 she's not going to chase him? She's not going to call him? Girl, you don't need to chase him. You don't need to do that. He ain't worth all that. Girl, you can get another one. Girl. He's standing on biscuits too. He's standing on business. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, I'm good. He like, man, I ain't even, you know what I mean? He it hurts. Don't don't get it wrong, sisters. It hurts. But it 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 definitely is a like our sometimes, you know, and I've learned this too. You get you guys kind of learn this when you get older, but self-respect is more important than pleasure of 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 the of the cookie. You know, walking away with your self-respect feels so much better. Than, than you having to always be at bended knee. Like, F that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's see. So Wednesday? No, yeah, I, I, I can do that. Oh, well, thank you. All right, bye. Come on, Beverly. You're not gonna you're not gonna go after your man. Come on, man. Yeah, it's pretty slow right now. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Beverly. Hold on for a second. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Am I looking the right way? No, I'm not. I'm look, how, you, how you doing, uh, <laughs> soldier sister? What you doing, girl? What's up? Okay, let me stop. Let me. Go. What's good? My name Freeman. How you doing? <laughs> now stop. Come on, Freeman. You stupid. All right, come on. Is everything okay? I've been looking at you. I just want to talk to you about something. What's going on? I just feel like I need a, I need a change. You, you know. I, hi, ma'am. How are you? I, I have an opportunity to to follow my dreams, and you know I've been talking to you about that. It's becoming at a really bad time. Very interesting how y'all will chase your dreams, take chase education. And you know what? Fem you know what a feminine woman doesn't chase. That's fair. However, but it's just amazing how y'all have turned that switch on for opportunity, business, the white man's paycheck, but never the black man's heart. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate to split I'm I'm sure there's some sisters that will do it and say, Freeman, I'm not like that. I would have tried to make it. I would have called him and called him the very next day. I wouldn't have let him walk away from me, Freeman. I believe girls that there are girls on the planet that wouldn't do that. But the majority, because when we solve a problem, we talk about majority. I think a lot of y'all would have said, all right, whatever. And would have chased your career. And then would have tried to find another man like him back out here. And would have been like, damn, I can't find the, the man that matches my flow. So it's like... I think at some point, I think I think 
women need to just be like, you know what? I don't have as many as options of men trying to marry me as much as I think. This guy got money. This guy got status. He got the height, the build, and this and that. But none of them want to marry me. I had this one guy that was trying to love me and marry me. But I was just, it still wasn't good enough. So I just think women should just self-reflect sometimes on that. I was just hoping you'd understand. I'm really sorry about don't, this. Don't apologize. You're young. You're smart. Hi, sir. You're talented. Honestly, I've always wondered why you stayed here for as long as you did. There's just so much more for you out there. You're not mad. I'm not upset. I understand. I do. do. Come on, let's go back inside. I mean, I like, I like how supportive this... You know what? I will say this, Mary. I know I talk a lot of shit, and I'm going to let it play. I really... I do appreciate the sisterhood circle that's in this movie, though. Her best friend, the girl at the cookout. I, I pay attention. The the And then her, I guess, boss, the owner of that sud shop. I appreciate the sisterhood circle. But... And you know what? I actually appreciate her best friend saying, like, yo, you got a good man. And he's doing this and this and that. Like, what, what else more do you want, sis? You like, come on. You got a provider male, and it still ain't good enough. Understand? I'll do just that. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Goodbye. We are here with Mr. Alex Gomez. Trace, come into the break room for a second. You got to see this developer and construction mogul at this groundbreaking event of okay take that down just a little bit right there yeah right there okay let's go all right let's do the goodbye okay you can take my lamp nice 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 i like it you sure you can handle it we be faster than jango let me get those eyes nice and wide just like that got it I will say this. There are some women on the planet that do attract high value men and stuff like that, which is great. I think that's fantastic. But the question is, are you willing to put in the work to keep them? Are you willing to put in the work to compete for them? To be honest with you, I just want to bring, you know, I was talking to one of my like, you know, mutual like friends on Facebook and, she, and I told her, I said, you know, cause she kind of likes, you know, men that can provide a more luxurious lifestyle and i'm like are you well you do know you have to compete for those men right and if he's not race loyal you're dealing with him you got to compete against white women spanish korean whatever you know whatever flavor he might like right now i only date only black women right so you still got to you know compete whatever but imagine you competing for it's one thing when you got to compete within your own race but with outside your race too and it's some of the traditional values that they bring foo -foo -foo. You're going to have a run for your money. It's a, it's a shame. I don't like it, but we all compete by default. So are you willing to put in the work? My question is for any women that are watching this, are you willing to put in the work to compete for that man? I mean, to be honest with you, you have to compete for the average guy too, just based on the numbers. There are more of y'all women on this planet than um than men, right? There's It's literally, you know, if we had to go with the world, I mean, it's one out of seven, one out of eight for every man, right? If you're in Atlanta, it's one to 19. Philly is one to 12. New York City is one to, I believe, is one to eight or nine. So, and then let's talk about, let's say height, right? 
Only 14% of men are six feet or above. I got lucky. Then there's no kids, straight, respectful, intellectual. And then, and if you a girl that, you know, you want him to be fit too or whatever and combination of these things. And he wants to marry you and only you. He can only have one wife. So, and then if you're talking about income, like I've already had this on my channel before, 40,000, 50,000, 80,000, 100,000. I mean, 1% of those men, 15% of those men, and then the average man, 50, you know, 40 to 50,000. So, and then you found him, you got his attention. Can you keep his attention? Are you willing to compete? Us men know for a fact we have to compete. Damn, I got to get a nicer car. Damn, I got to get a more up-to-date lifestyle. Damn, I got to get a better TV. Damn, I got to work more. Damn, I, I need to make more money to f provide for a family. Damn, I need to get my fat ass in shape. Us, a man will know. Like I gotta come. I gotta get it. To get it to go. Get it going. You tell a man he's fat and he's broke. He say, all right, all right. I'm gonna fix it. Or I'm gonna do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, you gotta. You're gonna have to compete for women like that. A man will be like, all right, that's true. Cool. All right. Don't shoot the messenger. Shoot, shoot the statistics. I just, I love the way Beverly dresses. She is like, like I I ah oh, she's like perfect. I love the way that she dresses in this movie. Back to the community. Trace, we're not even way. talking right now. And he's done you better go in. Ah, uh, she said you better go in. He like man, he like fuck it. Hey Marge, it's me. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Yeah, can you call the car and tell them I'll be down in about five minutes? Okay, great. Hey, and listen, thanks again. Yeah. Oh, um, well, you can just forward all my calls to the, uh, how That's very interesting how this man, you know, that's very rare. You know how rare it is for a black man to hide his value? Black men ain't doing that. I need the Benz, the motorcycle, the book. Like, he opened it up to her slowly. I think that's why she was mad a little bit. But he like, man, I don't need to brag. Like, I do well for myself, and that's it. But it's just, like, it's amazing how, like, like, that makes him even more rare. Because it's like, he hid his value so you can see the real him instead of him trying to win you over with his wallet. That's so noble and humble. Like, he just actually just, it, like a goddamn black Superman, and he was being Clark Kent the whole time. That's crazy. I love you. Maverick, I love you. I almost got mad at you, but I love you. I almost got mad at y'all, Maverick, but I'm feeling this right now. I, I want to finish this. Let me get this, sir. Thank you. I'm waiting. Yeah, you better run now. I'm waiting. But the fact is that you let it drag on for even another day is is crazy. Now you chasing. Speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Mars. This is Beverly. Oh, Mrs. Harrison. How are you? I is Alex in? Oh, I'm sorry. He's on his way to the airport. Oh, oh okay. So can, can you just call him and ask him to... Let me guess. Lovey-dovey, mushy airport scene? I, I ain't mad at it. Go ahead, Maverick. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Uh, he's forwarded all of his calls to his home in New Orleans, and he won't be there for another five hours. But I tell you what, he's on American Airlines, flight 132, and if you get to the airport... Uh, what? Hey, thanks, Mark. Good luck. You tripping. That's out of... You could... that She could be trying to kill him. You tripping. Come on. Hey, that's... Oh, okay. Get on it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, 
ladies, are you willing to chase the high value man? Are you willing to chase him? Are you willing to chase the above average man? Maybe you're not willing to chase the average man, so you wouldn't chase the FedEx man. Okay. What about the guy that's 15% of black men? Would you chase him? Would you chase the man that's 1%? What are you willing to do? Or will you say, fuck, fuck you, Freeman. I ain't doing none of the sort. I ain't thirsty. I'm a bad bitch. Maybe you're telling me that. I don't know. That's fine, too. Hey, listen. My question is, cool, you don't want to chase him. Can you get another one and get him to marry you? You know what? It ain't all about marriage, Freeman. Then why are you dating? You just you want to be a baby mama or you just want to make kids or you just want casual sex? Whatever. Marriage ain't that important either. It don't mean nothing. It's not the end all beat all. Well, it's the most secure thing a woman can do for, you know, a man can do for a woman. The house, the car, beneficiary, emergency contact, being attached to his last name and legacy. So are you willing to? No, Freeman, fuck you and them high value, man. I don't need, I don't need none of that shit. I make my own money. Okay, but if you're being provided for, I mean, don't you think, like, you know, he could help pay bills? Like, he could pay the majority of the bills, if not all the bills? Like, that can be a very valuable man. So, don't you think that, you know, whenever you want to have a break or get tired? I'm, listen, I'm ready to talk about it. Women, please, let me know. We can talk about it. Freeman. Strength, endurance, and you know I got stamina. I got hoes in Atlanta, then I bring her back to Canada. The boss CEO, and they also call me manager. The bars hurt your ears, kid. I didn't mean to damage her. A king's ass select, so I talk good. She call me Home Depot, cause she get wood. Being wifey girl, you a side chick, you wish you could. Play broke, save money, invest, and get out the hood. I talk my shit, honestly, I'm just playing. The black Goku trunks, broly super saiyan. They saw the stream, she saw me gaming. I make my money with my brothers like I'm the Wayans like. Marlon, Sean, Dwayne, Keenan, and Damon. So much respect, so you know I had to name them. I am the greatest, and my homies dropped the latest. That we BBL press on nails, you the fakest. I layer her down, and then I take it. And God gon' bless them, and then forsake it. The bars, the fire wrapped up, mixtape it. You got me fucked up, chopped, or mistaken. I grind, I work, invest, and awaken. Liam Neeson, your bitch, I guess you got taken. Don't give up, and don't give in. Sometimes you fall, you fail, you win. The bars affect you and your twin and son and cousin and next of kin. I hustle, I save, invest, and spend. I hustle all week, then I work weekend. Give up, don't give up, no, no, no. Catch a Freeman second verse, and this shit is not rehearsed, and it's coming off the top. Baby girl, I'm the worst, huh? I don't do last, I do first. Put the bars in the body and it hurts. There's the funeral, it's a tragedy. Honestly, this right here is savagery. Second lines, 16 kills, don't matter. I give you thrills, vibes, chills, and it's going down your spine. Baby girl, you get the massage, then I know I make you mind stop playing. Okay. Okay. Uh. 